is the real estate market. In this video, I'm going to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly currently happening in our local Bay Area real estate market. Hello everyone, my name is Tui Tran, your go-to Bay Area realtor and real estate resource. Feel free to put in a comment, share your thought, and of course, if you're looking to make a move, send me a message. I'll be happy to put together a game plan that will work for you. So now, how is the market? Let's talk about it. So on a macro level, we finally see the market coming back up this year, breaking that long six month downward trend. And this graph really show you how many units of single family home residents were for sale in contract or sold since the February 2022. And you can see how hot the market was last year for the first three months. And if any of you were on the market, open house were crazy, full people. We easily have two to 300 people coming through every weekend. The demand was so strong because buyer at that point wanted to get in on the lower interest rate as the Fed was announcing of the rate increase. And that really drove the price up significantly. And although we had a lot of buyer looking, most of the property was sold between five to 10 offer because buyer was starting to get price out of what they could afford. And once the Fed started to increase rate in March, the so-called crash happened almost immediately. And it was definitely a downward trend for the rest of 2022. And we can see it across the board. It picked up a little bit during the summertime in August, which is typical of a real estate cycle. And then demand went right back down. And when you look at the chart, you can see that the red line representing the listing that went into contract, and the dark green bar representing the sole property, they were higher than the number of listings available for sale in the spring of 2022. And as time progressed for the rest of the year, that relationship inverted with the available inventory went much higher than what was getting sold. And as the new year begins now in 2022, we see the demand continue to go back up again and supplies was going down. And although this show that at the county level, we're seeing the same thing on the city level. For San Jose, the same trend, picking up demand in March last year and a slowdown for the rest of 2022, and with the increase of demand and sale right in this year of spring. And in Fremont and East Bay, same thing happened. Demand peak in March, slow down and sell the rest of the year. So what did all this do to price? This is where the rules of economic applies. When there is less demand and more inventory, price went down. In San Jose, we saw the median sale price went from 1.78 million last April to bottoming out at 1.32 million as a median price in December. That's a 26% decrease in price. And we definitely had a fairly big correction. And as buyers were adjusting their behavior by pulling back from the market and not willing to give as much in their offer, we also saw seller eventually reacting to that and pull back from the market as well. And before the correction, we had seller who needed to sell and also seller who wanted to sell due to the high price. However, now we only see a seller who really need to sell rather than just wanting to sell, uh, putting their home on the market. And as the supply of inventory went down, we see that price are eventually gradually going back up to 1.5 million now, which is still about 14% lower than last year. And uh, we saw the price and inventory bottom out in December. And within a span of just a few months this year, we have seen San Jose price recover very rapidly. Even the Mercury newspaper report that Bay Area home price spiked 17%. And we definitely saw this increase in the February and March time frame, where the median homes in San Jose went from 1.35 million in February to 1.5 million in March of 2023. And in April, the market kind of metal out a little bit, which was a 1.8% increase month to month. And in Fremont, the same thing really happened where we saw the market peaking at 1.8 million last spring and dropping all the way down to 1.3 million as a median sale price. And finally, in the last three months, price has steadily going back up to around 1.5 million. And right around now, it's only about 8% lower than last year. This is a really great news for homeowner um, is that the price is coming back up, which is bad news for buyer because right now buyers are having to face with, you know, interest rate in the six plus percent on top of increasing home price and a low supplies of home available on the market. And whether price will increase, we're really depend on if we will get more supplies in the coming month. And in a typical real estate cycle, we usually do see an increase in a number of home on the market during the summertime. And so hopefully this cycle will stay the same and be true this coming summer. 
So as long as interest rate remains steady, and it's a matter of supply and demand dictating the price of housing um, this coming year. In addition to all these change in the real estate market, it was only last month when we saw Silicon Valley Bank got taken over. And that generated a lot of fear when it first happened. And it's definitely horrible news for a lot of people. However, for the real estate market, I think it was really good news. And let me explain why. With the collapse and all the turmoil going on, the Fed really eased up on the speed of the rate increase. And this is a much welcome relief for many home buyers out there in uh, the Bay Area. The other really great news uh, is that last month was Cal Half Flat Dream for all of the first time buyer assistance program. This is where California give qualified buyer a 0% interest loan for their down payment in exchange for a profit sharing when the home is either sold or refinanced. And of course the income limit was pretty high for uh, this type of system program. So for San Francisco and Santa Clara, the income limit was at 300,000 and 282,000 for East Bay area. And it was so popular that as soon as they check application, they had to pause the program within two weeks. And at this point, we can probably assume that um, all of the fund, 300 million, that was set aside for this program is probably gone. And even though the California program is on pause, there are other programs out there in the Bay Area for home buyer, and each county has its own first time buyer program. However, the income limit is a little bit lower, typically between 160K to uh, 200K, depending on the size of the family. And to know more about this program, you can message me and I can share more detail with you. Uh, and that is the lowdown on our current market. It definitely is shaping up to be a fairly strong spring market for 2023, with price and demand both increasing. And although price is not quite back up to where it was last year, this is a really great opportunity for buyers to get in and buy their home while price is still playing catch up. And after all, you can always refinance later. And in general, you know, it's not ever a great position to be in as a buyer here in the Bay Area. You either battling high price or high interest rate. And the thing is, you really don't get to choose your battle. And as of right now, buyers are dealing with both higher price than last year and higher interest rate. That buyer market that you saw last summer is really gone. We're seeing multiple offers on properties with no contingency and price are going easily 100, some even 200,000 higher than asking price. So my recommendation is if you're a buyer is that you really need to buy just buy the bullet and make your purchase so you can become a homeowner and this is where you get all the gains of equity and appreciation in reality and you know i've never had a past buyer who become a home homeowner ever regressing that you know what i should not have buy as seller if you're thinking about selling to move out of the area or upgrading the market is coming back in your favor Last summer, we saw a drop around 20% in home price, which is followed by a 40% drop in inventory. Because of the lack of inventory, price is going right back up. And at this time, we're about just 15% different from the peak of last year for San Jose, and really only about 8% different from Lupitas. And I really wouldn't be surprised if the home price catch right back up to where it was by next spring as long as the interest rate stays stable. Well, thank you for watching my market report. I hope that you learned a lot from this video. Please click like and subscribe, subscribe so you can get notified for all of our latest videos. Have a blessed day and see you next time.